Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore. You trusted her to guide you through historic and life-changing moments right here at Five for more than a decade, and she touched all of our lives. Jovita is my girlfriend. This afternoon, together, we are honoring her legacy and remembering Jovita Moore the way she'd want us to, with laughter. And cherishing the woman who called her life blessed. Whatever I can do to, to make someone's life a little easier or give them a little bit more hope, um, I'm happy to do it. She was smart, funny, caring, and fearless, and she was our friend. Through the next two hours, we're remembering our colleague, our friend, Jovita Moore. Good afternoon. I'm George Estevez. I'm Melinda Stouffer, sitting in for Jovita Moore. It is gray and rainy. I feel like Atlanta is crying. We have lost a champion in Jovita Moore. So many of us working all day to make sure you guys out there know the woman we knew in here. If we have video from News Chopper 2. We want to show you George's own building lit up in her honor this afternoon. It's one of the many ways businesses, organizations, Community leaders are paying tribute right now to Jovita. And Channel 2's Justin Farmer anchored alongside Jovita since 2012. And Justin, you recently went to her house. You were with her. What was that like? I don't have the words. Um, it was just love. Uh, we laughed. I said, man, I would love for you to give me one more side eye on set. <laughs> and um, she thought that was, that was fun. So we had... A, you know, we shared some laughs and we shared some tears and we remembered a lot of things such as Snowmageddon 1 and 2, among others. Uh, remembering our colleague and friend Javita Moore today in so many ways. You knew her as a passionate journalist and a, someone who gave so much in the community. It was a real privilege for me to work alongside Javita for nearly 14 years. And during that time, I saw firsthand just how much she loved her job, her family, and you all as she gave back to this community. I'm Jovita Moore. At Channel 2 Action News, we focus on stories that make a difference in your life. Since 1998, Jovita Moore has made a difference in the lives of so many in Atlanta and across Georgia. She was a leader on and off air, a calm and reassuring voice when the news was anything but. The uh, eyes of the country will be on Georgia tonight, waiting to see how each candidate does in this debate. Javita grew up in New York, but quickly learned to love her adopted hometown of Atlanta. After graduating from Bennington College in Vermont, she got an internship at the New York Times. But broadcast journalism was her calling. Javita went on to earn her master's in broadcast journalism from Columbia University. Then it was off to that first TV station, small town, Fort Smith, Arkansas, KFSM, then Memphis. And WSB came calling 23 years ago. There is a large crime scene at this hour. What happened to that new car? In East Point, Jovita Moore, Channel 2 Action News. In a career spanning nearly 30 years, she's covered history. To witness the historic inauguration of President-elect Barack Obama. Interviewed civil rights legends. Do you see that as sort of an extension of your father's legacy? And traveled the world to bring Channel 2 viewers stories that they would see nowhere else. People travel across the world here to Egypt to see the inside of King Tut's tomb. Javita anchored many of Channel 2's primetime family-to-family specials, interviewing the famous. Why are you so committed to staying here in Atlanta? I, I knew this was the promised land for me, so I was so committed to being here. No subject was off limits. So tonight we all joined here for a conversation on race relations, police, the community. We heard your concerns and your fears. We talked about change. We also talked about solutions. Even years before her cancer diagnosis, Javita was open about her own health challenges, always willing to share her stories to help someone else. After reviewing images of my uterus, Dr. Lippman told me I was a candidate for UFE. I don't want to get a hysterectomy. So how does this UFE work better for me than getting a hysterectomy? And when Atlanta celebrated, Javita was right there, hosting live specials on the 4th of July and was front and center as we kicked off the holidays. And those fireworks oh. were amazing. That is how we kick off the holiday season. So many of our viewers understandably feel like Javita's part of family. And they loved watching as her own children grew into young adults. Look at her. She's saying, Mom, She's what are you right. doing to me? What are you? Javita loved being part of this community. She devoted countless hours to emceeing all kinds of events and volunteering to help families, women, and children who needed our help. 
So it is no surprise that when doctors discovered Javita had two tumors on her brain last spring, no surprise that Javita would share this journey too. Well, I was really concerned about why all of a sudden I was forgetful and disoriented and um, just not feeling myself, you know, and feeling like I was in a fog. Messages of love and support pouring in and they haven't stopped. Her family is feeling it, so did Javita. We care about you as a city of Atlanta, we just want you to know that we're here for you and that whatever you're going through and your battle, we're also in that battle with you. Javita's awards and accomplishments would fill trophy cases and take hours to tell. But today, we remember a life beautifully lived, knowing our friend's legacy will live on. In her beautiful children, her passionate reporting, and her endless service to the city and community she loved. I feel like we've been in a fog for most of the day. I mean, it just doesn't seem real. And Justin, you talked about it at the end of that piece, but she set the bar so high in everything she did. She did. Uh, she packed an awful lot into her young life and um, really set the bar here at WSB. It's no secret, this is one of the finest television stations in the country. And Javita was a rudder for this place for 20 some years. And um, we're gonna honor her for however many years we're going forward, um, always remembering what she brought to this television station, inspiring uh, just the three of us, for example, who are here this evening. Justin, so many memories. You're, you're, you have, do you have a favorite memory, a favorite moment? What was your, your favorite part about working with her? Gosh, George. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. There are a lot. Favorite. You know, Javita and I would cut up pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I, I considered it a personal victory when I could get her laughing real hard. <laughs> and... Um, even of uh, greater was when I could get a side eye. Mm -hmm. When I could get her <laughs> there going, you go. and she would say, all right, farmer, that's enough. I was like, we're there. And so, that smile, just radiant. Uh, she's just the best. Radiant. To her family, we love you, and we are praying for you. And to Atlanta, I just want you to know, she genuinely loves this town. She genuinely cared about you. And we know you're hurting tonight, and she's got her arms around you. It's a promise. Uh, praying for her children and her mother all day today. Justin, thank you. And Javita meant so much to all of us and of course so many to so many people out there in the newsroom and our community. She did so much for women and girls in Atlanta too. For years, Jovita worked with Dress for Success Atlanta, a group that helps women get clothing and training for different jobs. This year, she was honored at their annual gala where they dedicated the event to her. That's just one example of so many out there. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez live now with the influence she left on women and girls. Taisha. George, I chose to do my live report here in the WSB parking lot because I walked through this parking lot with Jovita so many times, especially when I first got hired, I was on her shift. We would talk about exercising, how we were going to try to eat healthy that day. We had lots of laughs on that subject, and she was just a mentor to me, a mentor to so many. I spoke to a little girl who she inspired. This little girl, the first one you're about to hear from, she's just nine years old. She's inspiring to me because she says that all black women and black girls are beautiful as they are. McKenna Major is a fourth grader and she watches WSB faithfully. Jovita Moore is a huge reason why. She loved the way Jovita gave Atlanta their news, but she also remembers certain things Jovita said. Jovita Moore has a bright smile on her face every day. And she encourages black women and girls. She tells us what's going on in the city every day. And we pray for her family. Angel Upshaw has also grown up watching Jovita, mainly because she wanted to see an anchor who looked just like her. She was that staple in the black female journalism community. You know, um, even if you're not in journalism, just in the black community in general. Um, she was the face. Jovita is the reason why she's majoring in mass communications at LSU in Baton Rouge. And Jovita is the person who sparked Angel's interest in journalism. As kids, we didn't even like the news growing up. But it was just that, you know, it's just that when you see her, it's like, OK, like, you know, like I'll, I'll watch it for for Miss Jovita because, you know, she she's 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 my sister. She looks like me and she's doing her journalism duties, which are which is seeking and reporting the truth. 
The truth is we could do thousands of these stories of inspiration that Javita Moore gave us. I want to tell a funny story about her. When I first got hired, my Boston accent was very thick, and she said, look, girl, we're both from the north. I'm from New York. You're from Boston. You've got, you got to curb that language and use those R's. And we just laughed and laughed. I'm going to miss that a lot. And coming up in the next hour, we're going to hear more from that little girl you heard from and some other girls here in Atlanta. We're live in Midtown in the WSB parking lot. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. And Taisha, the best part is she would be honest and she would do it in a way that you <laughs> wouldn't feel bad about it. Yeah. Taisha, thank you. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it.